Hey guys, it's my homemade bird feeder. This bowl was in the garbage. Um, two liter bottle, cut the bottom off. I rolled the edges of the body with a heat gun. Um, shrunk it down a little bit on the side so it'll have enough room for the birds. The lid of the two liter bottle is glued hot glued to the bottom of the bowl and then I cut um, can you see oh, this thing doesn't focus very well right here little, little holes it's a little hopper you can take this off um, I'm not going to do it because I need both hands anyway I got that and then I have this my little squirrel feeder by the window so we could see a juice bottle, did the same thing, cut the bottom off, glued the um, lid with the hot glue to the bottom of this tray that I got at the dollar store with holes and stuff so that it, if it rained, but um, anyway, uh, and I bread tied because the squirrels are pretty aggressive, they get in here, shake it. So, oops, anyway, just wanted to share that with you. And they've been enjoying that all morning. It's wonderful. Hello, Artsy Fartsy Creatives. Um, I, uh, I'm real big about repurposing, reusing, recycling. We don't really take a lot of things to the recycler. We um, re -re reuse and re repurpose. Blah, blah, blah. Rewind. Reuse and repurpose. This I made last year. And uh, I did a video on my Facebook page, but when I download it, it's not um, able to be read. So I thought I'd just share again with you real quick. This is my DIY homemade brush holder. It's a piece of packing styrofoam um, that I got. I think it came with a, one of those plaques. Um, like welcome plaques for your um, outside your front door anyway that's where this groove is coming it doesn't matter anything like this you can make one I was looking at the YouTube videos back then and realized you know what people that are doing the watercolor and stuff they're using these fancy schmancy uh, brush holders and I wasn't in the market for one so I thought well I'll just make one and so that's what I did I took my um, utility knife and cut the grooves so that on this side it is shallower more shallow shallower <laughs> than this side so when they sit after you've painted with them and washed them they sit at an angle um, here you go, sorry about that. You sit at an angle, hold it there, so that the gravity brings the water down from the furl and the wood down to the bristles and it dries without ruining your brushes or shortening the life of them. Recently, my awesome paint fairy came to visit and um, I received these Arteza um, tube gouache paints. There's 24 of them. 
Thank you, Bakery. Um, I didn't have a palette. And it's frustrating for me um, to fumble around and try to mix. Well, anyway, I just wanted a palette. I went online, I'm looking at the cost of them, and some of them are really expensive. The ones that are good for gouache or watercolor are the steel ones, and they run about 11, 12 bucks. So I was just about to make the sacrifice, <laughs> and I realized, you know, those are as deep as the egg cartons. These are egg cart eggs. It's an eight pack that I get at the Dollar Tree for a buck, and I'm notorious for not throwing away anything when I think that I'll have a purpose for those. So what I've done is converted the egg carton into a pallet. What I did was I separated them out into warm and cool colors and also since there were 24 of them it allowed for me to separate the neutrals and the real darks. Um, this is the what is it? Prussian blue, burnt sienna, no, burnt sienna, burnt umber, you know, and the white, and the two whites. So I did this about, oh, 20, yeah, about 24 hours ago. And I know that it doesn't seal quite right, and I worked with different ideas, putting hot glue around the sides, because I'll show you here. See that gap. So I'm thinking I'll put a bead of silicone um, on this bottom side, and that should meet up fine with the top and seal it pretty well. In the meantime, until I can, I think it's downstairs, <laughs> locate the silicone caulking gun. Um, I figured I would take a select a size paper towel that fits perfectly, fold it into thirds, give it a spritz down there in the palette, not too much, spritz the paper towel pretty well. <laughs> then lay it on top and it's not going to allow the paper towel to go down into the wells because of the little center things and until I also don't have any or I cannot find my saran wrap <coughs> plastic wrap so I just cut to size this aluminum foil and figured I would just wrap it up until I can get it worked out on the, the ceiling part. I don't know if I'm going to do, I think really the silicone may be the best and most simple way to go for that um, and I tried hot glue uh, really lumpy hard to put on the styrofoam without it freaking out and um, so anyway I'll figure that out and I'll update you guys um, but I thought this was a cool idea if you're not in the market for plopping down. Now I'm, I have these and I have a handful of watercolor in the tubes, just a handful, and I have a couple more of these egg cartons and I'm just going to do it that way. Might as well save your money for more supplies. And look, a little mixing uh, 
tray. <laughs> so there you go. All sealed up. A paint palette for stuff you've already purchased. You know, you don't have to go and spend um, your hard-earned money on things that you already have around the house that can work, right? Cool. Thanks for coming. We'll talk to you later. Hard on.